<laughs> Orange County Choppers got all its hype from American Chopper, and it made the show so much more thrilling and mainstream. It quickly became the driving force behind the show, and people started realizing that they could get a custom bike from Orange County Choppers, and it would turn out to be so much better than the ones that could set you back thousands of dollars. And that's not it, because the catty fights between Paul Tuttle and his son just made the show all the more exciting to watch, and they became the highlight of American Chopper. However, they've now sold the original headquarters for over $2.3 million. So what really happened to Orange County Choppers? I'm proud of my guys. They work seven days a week. It shows their loyalty and their dedication, which is really important to me. The bikes look great and the client's really happy, and that's all that's really important. Paul Tuttle started his little shop back in 1999, where he used to work on motorcycles and then he eventually got interested in modifying them. It resulted in his experiments with custom-made bikes. He became so popular that he ended up catching Discovery's attention in 2002. They were planning to start shooting American Chopper during that time, so they quickly took him on board. He starred on the show till 2010, but he already was a household name and managed to promote his custom bike business for over six seasons. They were based in New York, so their business became very mainstream and it brought a whole new wave of custom-made bikes. Over the course of the show, it was revealed that Orange County Choppers could whip up all sorts of changes in your bike if you demand and that's what made them an absolute fan favorite. And soon, Paul Tuttle also became a well-known celebrity after this and has since been seeing a boom in his business. His workshop started from scratch, but now he has turned it into a lifestyle. Tuttle knew how to cash all his fame from the show, so he's opened restaurants and launched several brands that go side by side with embracing a biker lifestyle. So he knows how to target his niche audience and he's launching all these brands for them. The best part is that his audiences are actually very involved in him and see him as an authoritative figure in the motorbike industry. Although Orange County Choppers has turned into a huge business empire where they sell everything from clothes to poker chips, they still like to call themselves a small, family-owned business, and they cater to their clients as family. A lot of people thought they stopped making their signature bikes, but that's really not the case. They're still making some of the coolest bikes in the market and are used by professional motorbike racers. The Falling Heroes, if you look at the detail on this bike, it's phenomenal. I mean, those are real bullets and there's a real rifle that we use. But if their business is going so well and they're making so much profit out of it, then why did they sell their headquarters in New York? Well, that's mainly because they've expanded their business quite a lot since they started and they decided to move to Florida from New York where they got a lavish headquarters. Orange County Choppers even held a bougie party at their new office, which is right next to the distribution center of Harley Davidson. So it does look like Orange County Choppers is now trying to compete with the top brand that excels in making motorbikes. And why not? They already have years of experience and so many people follow the Orange County lifestyle, so if they were to launch a separate brand for motorbikes, everyone will definitely cave. But for now, they've given up on their OG building where they used to operate in New York. The reason, obviously, is that they've gotten a bigger and better place and they held an auction for this 61,000 square feet property in Newburgh and the auction continued for three whole days. It was an auction worth watching because it started off with a couple hundred thousand dollars, but things took a huge turn when in the final moments, an anonymous person swooped in and bought it for about $2.2 million. The buyer is still not disclosed, and Orange County Choppers have come out to say that their business remains unaffected by this deal and it won't impact their business in the future as well. But the thing that surprised the fans of the show most is that Paul bought and renovated this property for about $13 million, but he sold it at a fraction of the original price. He custom made the whole building as well as designed it just the way he needed for his growing workshop of Orange County Choppers. It will still take about 30 days before the buyer of the building is revealed, but it most likely is a motorbike enthusiast, considering how cool the building actually looks from inside with all the pop culture elements. This building was also the filming location of a lot of American Chopper episodes, and the fans are surely gonna miss it. It's even more significant for the fans now that they've realized how Paul impacted their life, especially after his death rumor. 
fans realized they haven't seen Paul Sr. for quite a while now, and someone started a rumor on social media that he's actually dead. This claim got so much attention that it went viral on the internet, and before anyone could say something, half the world was mourning the death of the American Chopper star. The news got so out of hand that Paul himself had to come out and tell his fans that the death news is nothing but a hoax and he's happy and healthy. In fact, he even shared news about working on a new project in Nashville and he wrote that he's chilling in a hotel. I made the fans realize that their favorite reality TV star is actually alive and the death rumor was fake. Paul Tuttle has even started filming YouTube videos more frequently now and he's got quite a lot of subscribers. He features videos from his workshop of Orange County Choppers where he makes custom motorbikes and motivates people to get their bikes custom made instead of splurging so much money on branded bikes. But this wasn't the first time that someone spread a rumor that Paul died because it has happened several times in the past too and it always leaves his father as heartbroken and devastated. However, this time around things got a little out of hand and he had to come out and show his fans that he's still breathing just fine. Not only this, but the American Chopper star has also gotten into a death related controversy before this and that one was pretty serious too. So much so that people were worried that they wouldn't be able to continue their operations anymore. So let's find out what really happened over a decade ago. No one thought that Orange County Choppers would survive after a roofer lost his life on their property. It was back in 2010, and the business got knee deep in controversy because the people weren't happy that Paul didn't pay attention to the safety of people working on his property. But it wasn't the workspace of Paul Sr., but Paul Jr., the son of the Tuttle family. He only started off with this business and this became such a huge thing that it would have cost him his entire career. But it was later revealed that when the accident happened, both Paul Jr. and Sr. weren't present. The details also revealed that the 26-year-old worker fell from the hole on the roof because he stepped backwards. Even the name of the victim was kept private and it was declared an accident. But the audiences weren't very happy with how this incident was tackled and demanded the Tuttle family to pay compensation to the family of the man who died. Typically, this would have been the end of their fame, but Paul Tuttle decided to not let his family business be forgotten, so he decided to appear in several shows and turn his business in such a strong brand that it gets involved in every aspect of people's lives by providing them a wide range of products related to the pop culture. Paul himself has become an icon, and his workshop is now a go-to place for all the motorbike enthusiasts. He's been doing ads for different brands as well, including Bic, which is such a big thing and the brands have now realized that Paul Tuttle Sr. has a lot of influence on people. It won't be wrong to say that he was an influencer even before social media became mainstream, and he's been giving us some major motorbike goals for years now. His business is now on top and he continues to expand it. It won't be long until he opens his workshop branches throughout the US. But for now, Paul Tuttle has decided to move his office to a bigger space where he could cater to the ever increasing demands from his clients. This could be the reason why he sold his OG place. The price at which it sold has surprised a lot of people, but well, at least good things are happening for the Tuttle family.